U.S. riots continue over George Floyd death. Riots in the United States city of Minneapolis continue unabated as residents protest the killing of George Floyd, an African-American man who died in the hands of police. Protesters set a vacant police station on fire. The station had been evacuated beforehand as the protests had become too violent for personnel. President Donald Trump has criticized the lack of leadership in the city. EU criticizes China's security bill. The European Union has criticized China over the moves to implement a national security law in Hong Kong, which will erode Hong Kong's independence. The EU suggests that the move will have an impact on China-EU relations, but the organization will not be taking any action against China. Hundreds of South Korean schools close. After briefly reopening, about 500 schools have closed again due to a resurgence of coronavirus cases in South Korea's capital city, Seoul. Government-run facilities, such as museums and parks, as well as government-run events have been closed. South Korea's health minister has urged residents of Seoul to avoid public gatherings and restrict movement for the next two weeks. India coronavirus deaths surpass China. India is emerging as a new coronavirus hotspot as its death toll surpasses China's. The country recently registered 175 new deaths, taking the death toll to 4,706. Hospitals are overwhelmed with patients and video clips have been shared on social media showing patients sharing beds or lying on the floor. Afghan army members killed in Taliban attack. Afghanistan's Ministry of Defense has stated that at least 14 members of the Afghan army have been killed in a Taliban attack during the Eid ceasefire. The Afghan government says that efforts are underway to extend the ceasefire as the Taliban delegation arrives in Kabul for talks.